I want to dress my wife up with Victoria's Secrets. You better not bother me. That's right. That's my body. That's right. That's right. If I want her to wear the clothes of Jane who swung with Tarzan, you better not bother me. Amen. Why? I got power over that body. The wife has not power over her own body. She come out in Jane clothing and I, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> huh? You better not bother me. Better not bother you. <laughs> hey, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. <laughs> That's right. That's Wait. the call of the wild. Don't say nothing. <laughs> Glory to God. Some women become righteous over much. Husband, Holy Ghost filled, just like she is, baptized, walking with the truth, and he want to put on a negligee. Well, that's of the world. It's not a sin for you to put that on for your husband. No. Well, the Bible says, come up the shame of your neck and it's negligee. Well, that's of the world. It's not a sin for you to put that on for your husband. No. Well, the Bible says, come up the shame of your nakedness. Why would you look if your husband want to see your nakedness? It's his. It's his. Yes, sir. Well, suppose the Lord come. Lord, help the people. The Lord ain't thinking about your negligee. He ain't thinking about it. The only time God will speak against it when you got it on for a man that ain't your husband. That's it. More holy than thou. Holy than thou. A husband buy you a negligee and you want to keep wearing sackcloth and ashes to bed. <laughs> Something from 1812 all the way down to your feet. Got a collar come all the way up to here. <laughs> right. And got socks on. <laughs> Somebody, that's your husband.